Tonight, the Paradise Town Council discussed the new sewage project coming to town. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum was at the meeting and spoke with people to see how they're feeling about it. This project will connect a sewage system servicing Clark Road, Pearson Road and Skyway, which you can see right here behind me, to South Chico. The project is still in its beginning stages. We're a long ways from, from being done with the project, but I mean, this is the first steps of it. Our EIR uh, is probably several months away yet. Um, but this, this we, ha we have to come up with the, uh, with the terms of the agreement and uh, we're, we're getting real close on that. The city of Chico is conducting their own study on what upgrades need to be made for this project and the new rates. I asked Paradise Mayor Steve Crowder how much this will cost the town and each person using the system. It's a study that Chico's doing with their, their own rate payers and, you know, whatever that is, we're, we're going to be the same. Um, so it, it's, you know, that, that's kind of going to be up to what, whatever their analysis comes up to. This project will have Paradise wastewater cleaned through the Chico water plant. Then it will go into the Sacramento River, which supplies water to more than half the state's population. Several people that I spoke with who live in Paradise say they're not too happy about this project, though. Now, I have mixed feelings about that. My feeling is that, you know, our, uh, our system, our septic system, we've been using this for over 20 years, and it's worked fine. It's worked wonderful, you know, we get it cleaned up, you know, once, once in a blue moon, and the cost is minimal. One retired plumbing contractor who used to have contracts with sewage treatment plants says, it's a long way to run pipes to Chico, and he's concerned about the potential cost. Now that we're less population, I just kind of wondered when, why they were piping the sewage all the way down to Chico, because every facility has limitations, as, as you probably know. So uh, that was my concern. The council will give more updates on the project plans and the cost for the project during their next meeting on March 8th. Reporting in Paradise, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now coverage you can count on. Also tonight, the Paradise Town Council uh, announced steps to a new long-term recovery plan. And this will include public input starting with a survey through the town's website that starts in mid-February and ends in March.